Hi, second to last after game thoughts for this World Cup. We had a nice third place playoff game. Um, before I get into the game, today I'm wearing France, but not necessarily because I'm cheering for France. Yes, slight favors, favorite for me tomorrow, but I would be happy for Croatia too. Um, have both of the jerseys here. Um, but today is Bastille Day, and that's another reason why I have national team shirts, because on the national holiday of that country, wear that country shirt. I started that with Austria, now I continue this with other countries. You saw the 4th of July, I was wearing the United States, 14th, of course, you gotta wear France. Uh, and it's fitting, I mean, this is the mega uh, weekend for France, in a way, uh, with national holiday, World Cup final, and to the France, so three of their most favorite things. But I digress, let's get to Belgium versus England. Belgium secures third spot, and deservedly so. You could see it from the beginning, when you saw the starting lineups, that Belgium wanted it more. They played their first team squad. I was a little bit surprised about that, but I was happy to see that. England made some uh, changes, namely, uh, or most notably Henderson was out and also Lingard uh, was not playing, uh, but Dyer was in. So yeah, um, I think Southgate took this as a glorified friendly and Belgium wanted to get something out of it and, you know, make the best ever showing at the World Cup. You could also see that England, yeah, the loss against Croatia um, took a lot of physical energy from them, but also mental energy. I think England looked a little bit overall tired um, to really play well. And yeah, Belgium owned the first half. Um, after, in the fourth minute, they already made the one nothing, which for a long time was the deciding scoreline uh, by Meunier. Um, was kind of horrible defending by uh, Rose and others in the English defense that just let him run let Meunier, he, he, he was the only one around there, let him run and make contact with the ball. I mean, it was lucky. He got it on his knee and it bounced uh, next to uh, Pickford into the, into the net. Uh, the attacking move was nice, I gotta say, uh, especially the pass in. I think it was uh, Shadley and Lukaku. I think were I too long. I, I saw it. I think it was Shadley. Shadley was, uh, was making the pass. Yeah, and there were more chances for Belgium. Um, Lukaku made a better showing, of course. When, yeah, um, also De Bruyne was more active, but it, every, everything went over Azar, uh, who I have to say, I said this morning that Luka Modric might be in the running for best player of the tournament. I think Azar should get it. He, for me, uh, he was the most dominant player in this World Cup. Um, Modric is a close second, but I think Azar is just this tad better. And it, whenever Belgium was dangerous, it was Azar who was in the running. Uh, England only had really one chance, uh, which was when Sterling put the ball to um, Kane, and Kane made a little bit of mess out, out of it. He seemed to be a little bit either mentally, physically tired. He was not quite there. Uh, I said it wrong yesterday in my thoughts. He made one knockout uh, game goal. It was the penalty against Colombia, of course. So, yeah. Um, but still, I think um, I would have expected a little bit more out of Kane. But then, you know, he's young. The whole England squad is young. And I think it was actually a valid uh, approach by Southgate to kind of try a few things uh, under... Uh, in a competitive character, in a way. Belgium was dominating, probably after 15, should have been already two. Uh, they had many counter chances. In the second half, then it got a little bit more even. Uh, Southgate got Lingard in, I think Rashford came in, and it became a bit more of an open game, and suddenly Belgium did what they were complaining that France was doing. They were holding back to launch their super dangerous counter-attacks, but England saw more of the game. I mean, uh, Kane missed another cross. Then there was a big chance by Eric Dyer um, that I actually thought was a goal, but was saved on the goal line. But then, yeah, uh, it seemed still that it was wave after wave of English attacks. Uh, especially um, then uh, in the last 15 minutes, there was one where Mertens 
completely made a mess out of a great counter attack. A few times, then I think Meunier uh, could have had, had a second, in probably the best chance of the game, where he took a volley cross that Pickford saved marvelously. By the way, I would want to see Pickford being given the golden glove. Golden boot for uh, Kane, golden glove for Pickford, although Subasic is also a strong contender. I, th I think all four goalkeepers, but um, I feel that Pickford... I don't know. I I, I thought today, gut feeling, uh, Pickford for me was the best goalkeeper. He was the one that was continuing. I mean, Courtois performed well. Yoris performed really well. Courtois played out of, out of his mind against Brazil, I think. Uh, Yoris made uh, great uh, saves against Uruguay and also against Belgium uh, that were absolutely necessary, that uh, saved France the game. Um, Subasic, of course, uh, saved, I think, a total of four penalties, which is a great thing, but I never... I might be wrong, but I never saw him make a, a great in-game save. But he was kind of the safe goalkeeper for Croatia. But I think Pickford over, overall for me was outstanding. And boy, does he look like a boy. Yeah. So he made a great save on Meunier, who was... Yeah, he showed that he was uh, missed in the France game. Although I don't think he would, make, would have made that big of a difference. Uh, he would have given a little bit more balance to the right side of the uh, Belgian attack. But I think overall uh, France had so uh, good control over the game that I don't think uh, Meunier playing would have changed the outcome of the game. Personal feeling, but I, I just don't see it. And then Azar puts in uh, another goal. Uh, was a little bit to a short corner. Maybe this was the one where Pickford, it looked a little bit strange. I mean, he was running and then he just uh, uh, shot it in the near corner of the goal, uh, which I would think should be the goalkeeper's um, spot where you save. And yeah, so Belgium wins third place. I think deservedly so. Um, um, England did well, but I think Belgium was the better team over the entire World Cup. They lost one game and that was the semi-final. And I also, if people say the third place game doesn't count for much, uh, it leaves always a positive aftertaste. You see players celebrating, they're happy that they won this last game. They don't leave the tournament having lost. Then they even have this little uh, group picture in front of this third place plate. Um, and even the losers are not that devastated afterwards. You leave you know, hence a little bit, yeah, we had a nice game, it was a nice experience and we got an additional one. I think in that sense, uh, it's done quite well. And yeah, congratulations Belgium. I think when the game ended, no, I don't think I know, uh, I just was standing clapping in front of the TV for both teams. I think both teams uh, made this tournament a better tournament. It was also funny that they played both in the same group. Lastly, jersey matchup, yeah, looked nice. I would have seen it differently, but... Um, yeah, I guess they wanted to sell more yellow shirts or maybe England-backed Belgium. Please let us play in the red shirts because they are lucky shirts. Now I could retire shirts, but I actually want to do something different. I have here the two finalists up here, as I already said. And I want to put them now up for third and fourth place. And not retire them, because the four teams that made it to the semifinals, they are the ones that really deserve all the honors. Third place goes to Belgium my newly acquired Belgium jersey and I'll be wearing this tomorrow. I said the one who wins third place I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So I'm very happy this will be the first time me wearing this Belgium jersey for real. Yesterday I was already wearing the English jersey. So you've seen it, but yeah. Great tournament England. I'm looking forward to see more of you in the future. Yeah. I really like this jersey. I'm gonna say more in a dedicated video about it. Uh, there's something really nice in the classic feel to it. Well, that was it for the third place playoff. And you already can watch my previews for the final. And I will talk to you the latest tomorrow after the final. I might have some last mini thoughts on the final. Who knows? Up until then, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.